they did mention uh, taxes and finance, and we do have the newly imposed 2% tax cap. Um, what are some alternative forms of revenue the counter owners can consider? Yeah, um, that's certainly something that, that you know, we've been thinking about and, 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 and looking at. I mean, you know, you, you don't want to start charging people for every little thing that the town uh, does or delivers for them because that's not really, you know, an alternative to they're just paying it then then another form. So what we really have to look at is is stream streamlining things. I mean, there may be instances where we could uh, <coughs> uh, provide some sort of a uh, uh, perhaps use some of our town um, property that the town owns and uh, perhaps use that to um, create a, a public-private partnership for uh, uh, certain types of recreational development on those parcels. And I think that that's something that we uh, can and should look at as, as a possibility. It may, it may create revenue, it may not create revenue, but it may create a, a venue and, and a, a, you know, a, a nice facility for the town that only those people that, that participate in it um, would pay for. So those are some of the thoughts that, that I've been having. Um, Certainly, our mortgage tax revenue, <coughs> excuse me, our sales tax revenue have uh, decreased over the years. Um, we, you know, in in terms of your uh, rentals and in terms of your um, assessed value of the town, uh, growth in the town, of course, can provide for an increase in assessed value, which then also translates to an increase in revenue. Uh, so, you know, we'll, we'll look at how that can be done, but still within keeping the character of the town and not, um, not exploiting the character. There's a very um, <clears throat> a common uh, mis misnomer that uh, the more um, commercial stores you have in your town, the more stores you have, the more sales tax revenue that you will obtain. And that's actually not the way sales tax revenue is generated. If you have a big strip of big box stores in your town, that's not going to get you any more sales tax revenue than if you don't. Sales tax revenue is distributed in the county of Westchester based on population. So if your population increases, you will be entitled to you know, that much more sales tax based on that. But population increases also come with costs particularly if the, that population increase is uh, school children related. So you have to you, know, you have to be very cautious about, about how you, you develop that, but it's, 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 a, it's a misnomer that just because you have a whole bunch of big, big box stores in your town, you get more sales tax revenue than if you don't. It's, it's, that is not the basis upon which sales tax revenue is distributed. It's distributed based, based on the census count and uh, you know, every 10 years that census count is redone and though that is the um, formula by which sales tax is distributed.